people ask me a lot about prophylactic antibiotics. I strongly believe that in 2012, we have such effective antimicrobials that can be used for almost immediate treatment. I see no reason to prophylax. I mean, when you prophylax, you're taking an antibiotic for the duration of your trip. And I feel like you can just wait until you get diarrhea, if you do, and take a drug that will treat it very rapidly. In 2012, most of us would recommend using a fluoroquinolone, and the most famous, of course, is Cipro. Cipro can be purchased around the world. In most of the world, it's very inexpensive, and it's very effective. You don't need to take it for 10 days. You don't need to take it for 7 days or even 5 days. Oftentimes, even with fairly severe dysenteric-like bacterial diarrheas, just taking Cipro for 2 days is all you need. There are certain travel medicine people that are even using it for one day. I usually treat patients for two days. It's 500 milligrams twice a day for two days and patients are typically good to go. Now there is a increasing frequency of fluoroquinolone resistance especially in parts of Asia, places like Thailand and that's because of Campylobacter and since we don't have clinical laboratory how are you going to deal with this in the field and what I do if somebody presents with an acute dysenteric like diarrhea and uh, and it doesn't respond to Cipro after literally 24 hours I'll usually put them on a macrolide and in most expedition medical kits most of us are carrying azithromycin so I'll usually use azithromycin for a couple days and uh, that usually does the trick if they're not responding to Cipro.